Mr. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this debate, this debate has lasted some eight days, over 54 hours, with speeches of powerful sincerity from over 200 honourable and right honourable members. It has been historic for our Parliament and for our country. We have heard contributions from every perspective, looking at all aspects of this complex and vital question. We have seen this House at its most passionate and vigorous, and I thank everyone who has contributed. No one watching this debate can be in any doubt about the strength of this House of Commons as the fulcrum of our democracy. This is a debate, this is a debate about our economy and security the livelihoods of our constituents and the future for our children and for generations to come. It goes to the heart of our Constitution, and no one should forget that it is a democratic process that has got us to where we are today. In 2015, my party stood on an election manifesto that had as a centrepiece the promise of an in-out referendum on the UK's membership of the European Union. The British people responded by electing a Conservative government to follow through on that promise. That is what we did when this House voted overwhelmingly to hold the referendum and put the choice in the hands of the British people.